Meat has a unique place in human diet. Meat dishes are greatly relished at home, restaurants, institutions and social gatherings. It offers a concentrated source of energy and all essential nutrients at affordable prices. Meat sector is contributing significantly to the growth and sustainability of agriculture and economic growth in the country. Domestic consumption and export of meat have been witnessing an increasing trend in the recent years. There are a number of issues facing the meat industry. The meat sector in the country is plagued by deficiency of meat purpose animals, inadequacy of hygienic slaughter facilities, lack of trained manpower, issues of adverse environmental impact and consequent local descent, lack of value addition and product diversification and other policy issues. With more than 90% of the population being meat consumers, Kerala has a unique role in exemplifying the sustainability of meat industry in the country. With the objectives of addressing the academic and research requirements, trained manpower development and entrepreneurship facilitation, the Meat Technology Unit was established as a part of the erstwhile Kerala Agricultural University in the year 1992. In 2010, the unit became a part of the newly established Kerala Veterinary and Animal Sciences University. Meat Technology Unit offers undergraduate, postgraduate and doctoral courses and imparts training to educated youth on wholesome meat production, processing, plan management and byproducts and slaughterhouse waste processing. The commercial activities of the unit are run under a revolving fund project of the university. The unit has various facilities including a multi-species abattoir, poultry processing plant, meat processing facilities, dry rendering plant and analytical laboratories which offer a commercial perspective of the issues and potentials of the industry. The unit undertakes marketing of frozen meat and various value-added products to the public through in-house sales counters and private supermarkets. The unit earns revenues to the tune of rupees 2 crores per annum, a substantial portion of which is handed over to the university as profit. The Meat Technology Unit of the Kerala Veterinary and Animal Science University is one of the kind institutions in the whole of the country catering to the teaching, research and extension activities with regard to meat science and technology. This unit which has been designed in a very very fabulous manner has been established in the year 1992. As far as the teaching is concerned this unit with the facilities which has been built up through the years has been able to cater to the teaching facilities with regard to undergraduate students of the veterinary graduates, the postgraduate and PhD students of the veterinary graduates, in addition to innumerable number of students coming from other medical colleges, pharmacy colleges and others. As far as the research activities of our institute is concerned, we have been able to draw huge amount of funding from establishments like DRDO, BARC, ICAR and other externally funded projects. And our research component has been built up through a very firm footing which has been laid through years of research which has been carried out in this institute. As far as the training programs are concerned, we have specially designed entrepreneurship development programs which cater to the unemployed youth of the area, the whole of the country. Then we also cater to the people who are looking in for employment and skill based training, skill acquisition and skill based training is another important area which we are now focusing on. With this built up, 
we what started as a small unit way back in 1992 has reached a stage wherein we are expanding and from a mere 1.2 lakh revenue generation which we could make during the year 1992 we have now come to a stage wherein we have created a revenue of around 2 crore annually. Meat technology unit is having a multi-species abattoir which is useful for slaughtering different species of animals including cattle, buffaloes, sheep and goat, pigs and poultry. Per year we are slaughtering around uh, 1000 pigs as well as around 400 bovines per year and uh, we are selling different products as well as fresh meat and to the tune of around 100,000 kg per year and uh, the total revenue that we are earning per year is around uh, to the tune of 2 crores and uh, <coughs> we are procuring animals from uh, different poultry farms, different uh, uh, private farms, different government, government farms. The, wherever we are slaughtering animals from private farms, the, uh, the farms are being certified or being inspected and recognized by our unit. The unit has a large animal slaughter hall with overhead rail system for scientific and hygienic slaughter of large ruminants. Animals from farms are transported in covered animal carrier. Animals are unloaded quietly from the vehicle. In the lay reach, they are properly rested before slaughter. Ad libitum water is provided during the resting period. The veterinarian conducts anti mortem inspection. Later, the animals are moved on to weighing platform and the weight recorded. The animals are moved to the stunning pen through the race. The stunning is done using a penetrative captive bolt pistol operated using blank cartridges. Bleeding is carried out following stunning without delay. Kerkas is given electrical stimulation to avoid conditions such as cold shortening and also improve tenderness of meat. The dehiding is performed manually and decapitation is performed after flaying. The carcasses are eviscerated after the processes of rotting and bunking. A detailed post-mortem examination is carried out immediately after evisceration and the meat is approved for consumption or condemned as per the findings. Samples for quality control are collected. Meat is deboned. The boneless meat is packed in LDPE pouches with labels and other statutory requirements. Edible offal are separated and packed along with the coated meat packets. Bonds and other inedible offal are cleaned and are moved to carcass utilization plan for further utilization. The 
The big slaughter hall has facilities for pre-slaughter electrical stunning, scalding, dehairing and semi-line dressing system. Pigs from government farms and private recognized farmers are procured at prevailing market rates and transported to the unit. Pig breeds like large white Yorkshire, Landry's and Duroc and their crossbreds are selected for the pork production. The unit offers a differential pricing system for the pigs based on the live weight of the animal. Animals are unloaded in layerage where they are properly rested before slaughter. Ad libitum water is provided during the resting times. Anti-mortem inspection is conducted by the veterinarian. The animals are moved on to weighing platform and the weight recorded. The animals are moved to stunning pen through the race. The animals are made unconscious by low voltage electrical stunning. The animal is shackled from the hind leg to the bleeding rail. After bleeding, carcass is immersed in scalding tank for loosening of hairs. Carcass is kept in the scalding water until hair gets pulled out easily and then removed. The hair is removed using mechanical dehairing machine or manually using a bell scraper. The remnants of bristles finally seen on the carcass after scraping are singed using a blow lamp. Carcass is polished and evisceration is performed. A detailed post-mortem examination is carried out immediately after evisceration and the meat is approved for human conception or contempt as per the findings. It is deboned. The boneless meat is packed in LDPE pouches with labels and other statutory requirements. Bones and other inedible offal are cleaned and are moved to carcass utilization plant for further utilization. We are slaughtering or we are following all the scientific procedures uh, throughout the pre slaughter period, including the uh, on farm inspection, the transportation, the pre slaughter stress, uh, rest of the animal. The, the scientific slaughter procedures, post-mortem inspection as well as the storage of meat and uh, we are also conducting routine quality control tests or evaluations to ensure the quality and safety of the meat. Whatever we are doing is on a commercial or a semi-commercial basis that is on a semi-commercial perspective. So this gives a unique hands-on and live extreme, uh, experience for our trainees including the veterinary uh, students as well as our stipendary trainees. So this is a unique experience with respect to the meat technology unit because all the activities are on a semi-commercial perspective. The meat technology unit has a conveyorized poultry processing plant for slaughter of chicken, ducks and turkeys. The birds are procured from government farms and private recognized farmers at prevailing market rates and transported to the unit. 
birds and loaded in transport crates. Veterinary anti mortem inspection of the birds is performed and unfit birds are rejected. Birds are hung onto the shackles of the conveyor, taking care to avoid wing flapping. A water bath electrical stunning system is used for stunning of birds. The stunned birds are subjected to bleeding. The birds are scalded at the subscalding temperatures to loosen the hairs. This type D feathering machine is used for removal of feathers. Any remaining feathers are picked manually. The carcasses are subsequently eviscerated. The carcass with offals are subjected to postmortem inspection. The inspected birds are washed and shanks removed. The dressed birds are pre chilled with slushed ice in a chilling tank. The giblets are harvested and cleaned. The dressed birds are packed in labeled LDP pouches. The feathers and inedible offal are composted in an aerobic composting unit. We are having conveyorized automated poultry processing plant here with a capacity of about uh, 270 birds per hour. That means we can process up to 1000 to 1500 birds per day which includes broiler chicken, duck, turkey and as well as uh, coil. Most of the birds we are procuring from farmers, authorized farm and as well as from the government farms. All the operations being carried out under the supervision of qualified veterinarian and also we are having uh, technically qualified workers. Meat Technology Unit has a well-equipped quality control laboratory, proximate lab for estimation of proximate composition of meat or meat products. It has a state-of-the-art research facility with advanced analytical equipment. The unit also has biomaterial development facilities. The animal cell culture facility supports the research on cell biomaterial interaction. The microbiology lab supports quality control and research activities. The unit has a unique facility of Gamma Chamber 5000 for studies on irradiation of meat and meat products and biomaterials. In addition to meat, Meat Technology Unit develops and markets various value-added emulsion-based and whole muscle meat products. The band saw is used for chunking of frozen meat. Blade tenderizer is used to improve the tenderness of meat. Meat mincer is used for mincing of meat and for preparation of kima and meat emulsion products. For preparation of meat emulsion, bowl chowder is used. Minced meat along with salt, spices and condiments are added to pre-chilled bowl chopper for making the batter. The meat emulsion is further filled in natural casings. Filled casings are then further linked and steam cooked before packing. Other products like nuggets, patties and kebab are prepared using meat batter of different formulations. This is the meat processing unit uh, where we do different types of value additions of the meat. 
In India, generally people prefer the fresh meat and they convert into curries, uh, kurmas, uh, biryanis, uh, pickles and other things. But in the recent trends, if you see, the people are preferring to have the western products and continental foods like sausages, burgers, uh, nuggets, meat rolls, uh, such products that people, uh, that people are preferring and there is a much demand, is, demand for such product is also increasing. So it shows a welcome uh, trend for the uh, value added uh, producers, value added meat products producers or the industries who are involved in the such uh, businesses. Uh, in the in, uh, meat technology unit we, we have totally around uh, 55 products out of which uh, we sell around uh, 28 products as a value added products. And we have different categories of value added products for the adults, children and uh, we are involved in making the products, uh, the tougher meats or we are involved in converting the tougher meats uh, using the scientific technologies uh, into a value added ME meat products. The main motto or the aim of our this processing unit is to produce uh, high quality, value added, uh, safe, hygienic, ME meat products for the consumers. Meat Technology Unit has a unique facility of dry rendering plant or carcass utilization plant for management of inedible slaughterhouse waste and condemned carcasses. This facility had served as a model to many local bodies and private entrepreneurs for abatement and management of pollution emanating from abater operations. It has been established in line with European Union guidelines for generating sterilized meal and tallow for feed, fertilizer and industrial purposes. The raw materials used for rendering constitute bonds, blood, inedible offal and condemned meat. A pre-breaker is used for crushing of bonds. The bonds and soft tissues are then cooked with the help of steam in a double jacketed dry melter. Then the product which is a mixture of fat and cooked meal is discharged from the cooker and fat is separated using a fat centrifuge. The fat free cooked meal is further milled in a hammer mill and collected in sacks. The meat and bond meal is sold as either feed or fertilizer grade product. Meat Technology Unit is a facility licensed by Food Safety and Standards Authority of India and currently under the process of acquiring ISO certification. The unit markets various frozen meat and meat products through university sales counters and private supermarkets. The products of the unit have assumed a brand status by creating value and confidence among the public. In this regard, the sales counter serves the twin purposes of revenue generation and customer interaction. The unit conducts regular training sessions for veterinarians, policy makers, students from various other streams and potential entrepreneurs. The unit has a well-designed seminar hall for the trainings. The unit has been regularly conducting stipendiary trainings to educated youth since its inception. These are regular full-time hands-on trainings of one and two years duration. The trainees work along with processing associates and gain experience and knowledge about various aspects of meat production, processing and plan management. The trainees are offered stipend and free accommodation during the training period. These trainees serve as a valuable pool of skilled manpower for meat production and processing industries across the country and abroad. This unit is also serving as a model for different stakeholders including the academia, the research people as well as the policy makers. Because as far as Kerala is concerned, more than 90% of the consumers are non-vegetarians. There is a huge potential for the establishment of semi-modern slaughterhouses in which the problem of pollution or the environmental impact is a great concern. 
and uh, here we are using a model which can be replicated with respect to establishment of new slaughter houses as well as the uh, amelioration of uh, the pollution that is the the waste management methods we are also having other waste management methods which can be replicated so this acts as a model for all the uh, stakeholders in this uh, field hence the vision of our unit is to completely change the scenario in the meat sector of the country by training people and also build upon the research and other extension activities which we could carry out for the meat sector as large. Beyond expectations, that is our motto. Our vision catalyzes the holistic development of meat sector in the country through sustainable technologies, professional training, entrepreneurship facilitation and knowledge dissemination. Our mission, we envision the transformation of the organization into a global training and knowledge hub in meat science and technology. Our organization has been built on teamwork. Together, we will.